This is Mark Anderson with a demo of ECE 330 uh, Lab 13 of the uh, two-axis robotic arm. These are two very low-cost servos that have been mounted in a uh, uh, two-axis uh, camera mount, and you can see them moving in the up-down direction as well as the left-right direction at the same time. How that's happening is that um, we have each of the two servo motors connected up to uh, five volts and to ground, five volts from the power supply and ground, and then the control to the servo, the control signal goes to PD0 and PD1. And those are, con those are controlling the duty cycle pulse width of our X and Y axis servos, or up, down, left, right. Okay, or uh, in the order of left, right, up, down, really. Over here, here's what our, our um, seven-segment display is doing. You can see that we are in automatic mode from the A in the far left um, seven-segment display. Then you can see the up, down, left, right servo indicator to tell you just right of those indicators are the actual um, servo positions from neutral. So the up, down... Um, Servo is the one on the, the second two from the right uh, digits, and the left-right servo, or the x-axis servo, is on the far right. Uh, they're both changing at the same time uh, because we're making the servo go through its range of motion in both the x, y, and the, uh, the, the x and the y position at the same time. Now, um, we have a... Uh, manual mode as well, and here's what the manual mode looks like. Um, we're using switch 15 here to control automatic or manual mode, and you can see the automatic light went out, and now we just have the uh, up-down servo, which we can control, and we do that by changing the analog input into VN. This is, once again, our, um, our variable resistor. And you can see that as I turn the, the variable resistor, it understands because of the switch setting that I want to change the up-down servo. And so it's changing as I change the VN going into the ADC. Okay, I can also use switch zero changes whether or not I'm talking to the up-down servo or the left-right. Now I've switched it to the left-right. And when I turn the thumb wheel, on the um, variable resistor, I can control the position manually of the x-axis servo, okay? So all of this is happening. Uh, let's go back to automatic mode. All of, all of this is happening um, because we are changing the pulse width duty cycles going to these two servos. So uh, let's look at that on the oscilloscope over here. And you can see we've got a picture of the oscilloscope, and you can see that the duty cycle is being displayed on the bottom there. And it's uh, in automatic mode, it's just changing the duty cycle uh, in 50 increments from 5% to 10% duty cycle. Um, both of the servos are being controlled in the same manner, so I'm only showing you one. Okay. Um, that's it. It's kind of interesting and, um, uh, you know, uh, kind of an interesting mechanical system, that electromechanical system that we've got here. Both the, um, the servo motor and the indicator status and the switches controlling what these two servo motors do.